Hi, it's Mike with AskTractorMike.com. We have a special guest today. We did a video, gosh, it's been four months ago, uh, about a brand new tractor company um, that has a not only an electric tractor, but an autonomous tractor. And it's the Monarch Tractor Company. And I'm speaking today, again, with Praveen Penmetza, who is the CEO of Monarch Tractor. And Praveen, uh, some things have happened since we talked in December, a little over four months, that I want you to talk about today. Uh, you've delivered your first tractor. You have some people that are investing in the company. And things are kind of rolling right there. Tell us what's new. Mike, it's been a busy uh, four months since we last uh, talked. As you mentioned, just last week, we have deployed our first pilot series tractor to our first farm customers. So Vente Farms in Livermore, California has received our first tractor uh, with support from the California Air Resource Board. And we have more pilot series tractors uh, that we're currently building in Livermore and that we'll be delivering to our pilot series customers um, in California, in Washington State, and also in Oregon. Also, since we last talked, Mike, we are very excited to announce that a number of, uh, you know, very well-known uh, tractor companies have invested in us. Um, again, huge validation of what we are doing here and the technology. CNH Industrial has invested into Monarch Tractor. They've also had another Indian tractor company invest into Monarch Tractor. And again, this, this is not just an investment, but also a strategic partnership. The reason for these big investments is not just the technology side. It's also the fact that um, you know companies like uh, New Holland see the sustainability and see farm economics. How can we improve farmers' economics as uh, as the crux of uh, you know our, our joint mission? All these things are very positive, and we also uh, will have more announcements coming up in the near future with uh, very well-known implement companies. So. Uh, excited to share all of that today. I'm going to put a link at the end of the video uh, to anybody that wants to see the background of the Monarch tractor. We talked at length at the last video, and, and it's pretty fascinating. Uh, to folks that don't know Monarch tractor, uh, you've got an autonomous tractor, an electric tractor, and you're yeah. kind of starting out in the California area where there's a lot of uh, tech people to get it going and a lot of uh, fruit and vegetable production is kind of a, a place to test it. So uh, it's it's starting to go into vineyards right now. And and the thing can run all day and all night and, and it can spray uh, without a, a, a person on it. Uh, it can, it can uh, do lots of things. And um, I, I tell us just a little bit about the tractor itself. And then when you're done telling us yeah. that, my audience is, is people like me that are weekend farmers, and we're all busy. Yeah. And if if I could tell my tractor to go out and do my brush hogging and yeah. get my pasture looking nice again and maybe mow my yard, I would I would love that product and me not have to sit on it all day. So tell us about the tractor and, and where are we in development? And am I going to live long enough to see a tractor I tell to go brush hog and I don't have to do it? Mike, uh, yeah, exactly. So Monarch Tractor uh, is an all-electric tractor, uh, number one. Number two is we have what we call driver optional capabilities, which means we don't need to have a driver in the seat. You can be off the tractor, and the tractor will do all these operations autonomously. And if something uh, comes up, you can still control the tractor from either the website or the phone. And not just that, they've also spent a lot of time uh, making it smart. So there's a lot of sensors on the tractor that uh, allow us to, um, you know, uh, basically see what's going on and provide real-time alerts and insights back to the farmer. So while it's mowing, you know, if it sees a stray dog or if it sees something happening there, um, you know, it'll take a picture, send you a text message and say, hey, Mike, right, do you know that so-and-so things are happening? Uh, we are also starting to uh, work on additional features for, for all of these farmers. And like you said, you know, when we're doing things like spraying or when we're doing things like mowing, uh, especially in vineyards and orchards, they like to spray at night. So these are, these are dull and, uh, you know, dangerous uh, when you're spraying these chemicals. It's not something that you want to be around for like eight hours in the middle of the night. So these are all things that we want to make it easier for farmers to farm. And uh, for weekend farmers, like you said, Mike, one of the things that we have now been able to showcase is this tractor is an absolute gem to use. It's very easy to use. We have a smart screen that we are now showcasing 
something that's been in development for the last two years, which allows you to basically get all these advanced functionalities that are only available on multi-million dollar combines are now available for the weekend farmers. Uh, we have like safety guardrails is what we call them, which allows us to control the pitch and roll of the tractor. So anytime you're getting into a dangerous situation, we'll actually control the speed of the tractor and shut it down in a safe manner. Uh, similarly, if you see obstacles, even though you might be driving it, we'll provide an audible alert saying, hey, you know, there's a, there's a big obstacle in the back that you're probably not seeing. Uh, the tractor, even when reversing, we are deploying features that allow you to back up to an implement very easily. So all of these are features that your audience will hopefully uh, like and uh, hopefully will remove a little bit of the frustration of, <laughs> of, of attaching implements and doing these jobs. Uh, at the same time, you can still drive the tractor and get the full experience of driving a tractor, except you know, it's equal to uh, you know, a new smart implement, a smart device kind of an experience, uh, not just all mechanical. What's your time frame in getting this product to widespread yeah. distribution? Um, our production starts off at the end of this year. And as soon as that kicks off, very quickly, we'll start, uh, you know, our initial focus, don't get me wrong, is still in the Western region, which is uh, California, Washington State, and Oregon. But very quickly, we'll start uh, deploying these tractors in uh, all over North America. So we are, we'll have some more announcements coming in later in the year. The last time we talked, you were working on a front-end loader. Where are you at on that? Yeah, it's still uh, in development right now. So we are still... Uh, testing the rest of the tractor. Uh, we are loading it up. The reason we are focused on some of the larger farm operations for our pilot series, Mike, is these are the operations that run our tractor like 24-7, right? Especially now that the season is uh, is kicking in. So it's a great opportunity for us to deploy our tractor in a variety of terrains, variety of crops, with a variety of farm operations. People who will like really, you know, um, you know, uh, stress test our tractor. And we'll take all those lessons learned and then go into production. So by the time it gets to the weekend farmers, you can be rest assured that the tractor has spent a lot of time with the farm operations companies who have used it uh, even more than a normal uh, you know, hobby farmer would. I remember the last time we talked, I think you, you said you would like to take it up in horsepower a little bit. Tell, yeah. tell us what the tractor is now yeah. and where you want to take it up in the horsepower too. And you also mentioned a smaller model. Where are you at on all that? Right now, uh, Mike, uh, we are very focused on our 40 horsepower tractor. You know, it's capable of doing up to like 70 horsepower, right? We, right now, our tractor produces one and a half times the torque of like a comparable diesel tractor in our class. Uh, which is if you compare our tractor to another 30, 40 horsepower tractor, we have one and a half times the amount of torque. So these are all things that actually we are excited to see how farmers will, will use these and see what the capabilities are and what the limits are. Uh, and then we'll use that information to drive the, the next product line. We are also constantly deploying uh, software features uh, to make the drivability of the tractor better. Uh, we have just deployed some of our turning radius features, which allows us to like literally turn the tractor on a dime. And that's a software feature that we are we're turning in. Something that, again, your, user, your audience would love. We talked last time about price point. If I remember right, you're around $50,000 per tractor. Yeah, our price point is still $50,000. But uh, starting in May, you know, we'll be starting to increase the price of the tractor. We have gotten like a tremendous demand for the tractor. So our base price is going to increase from $50,000 to 50. We'll, we'll be announcing a new price in uh, the first week of May. So anybody who sees this uh, video, this is a great time, actually. Uh, we have like three more days. And if you put a booking in now, we'll hold that $50,000 price uh, until the price change happens. But yeah, the base price is $50,000. We have a four-wheel drive option. Um, you know, we have a few more accessories like the front loader, et cetera, coming up as we go through the year. So those are all things that will add to the base price. But uh, we're excited that uh, we could release this tractor at a price that is uh, mind-blowing when you look at all the features that we bring to the table. What are you finding about battery life? What, what, can, what can people that are buying the tractor expect? Uh, you should be able to see like 10 plus hours of operation if you're doing light implement activities. Where do you want to be in five years? 
our goal is to have our technology um, not just on monarch tractors but you'll see pieces of our technology on tractors all over the world uh, you'll be able to like kind of you know have access to smarter implements that sit on our monarch tractor platform and uh, more than where we want to be mike we have a vision of what we want farming to be and our role there is we want to help farmers like make more money um, on their farms while they are being sustainable from a soil health standpoint and from their health standpoint whether it's safety or whether it's the farming community health here's a link to the last video i did on the monarch tractor that goes into just a little bit more detail if you'd like to subscribe to my youtube channel i'd be honored click the mic face icon and check the bell so you're notified when i post future videos here's a link to my website and the tractor fun store with unique ideas for the tractor enthusiast thanks for watching